These are my Tiny Tim tomatoes, and they are growing in the hydroponic buckets I bought from Amazon. I started these probably about a year ago now, and I've gotten a lot of tomatoes from them. This is the very first hydroponic system that I bought. Um, well, I had an arrow garden at first, but those arrow gardens are they're pretty small. They're good for growing herbs, maybe a little bit of like lettuce. But if you want to grow something bigger like a tomato or a pepper, uh, I think this fits the bill a lot better. All right, let's take a look here. You can see I've got quite a few tomatoes here that are ready to go and tons and tons of green ones too. Uh, we get probably a, at least a handful of tomatoes every couple of days, sometimes even more. Yeah, so this thing is just doing amazingly well. Um, this is just some basil I'm growing uh, from soil, just overwintering it here indoors. Um, but it's coexisting pretty well with all these nice tomatoes. Yeah, so this thing is, is just doing great. On Amazon, this is called the Lawnful Hydroponics System. This is a deep water culture system, or DWC. And what that means is that these buckets are filled pretty much all the way to the top with water. And normally that would be a problem because these buckets are quite deep and the, the roots at the bottom would suffocate. They would not be able to get enough oxygen. So what's included in this kit is an air stone and a pump. And you can see the tubing right here that supplies the air to the air stone, which is located inside of the tote. Or inside. What that does is it allows the, the roots to breathe because it's pumping air into the air stone and it's causing bubbles basically to form in the water. So if we come over here, we can actually see where the pump is located. You'll see that it's actually lower than the, the buckets. Normally that would be a problem because what can happen is gravity can cause the, the, these tubes to fill up with water. But if we look back here, there's actually a valve. And what these do is they prevent water from flowing backwards into the tubing. So if the, if the pump were to shut off, it wouldn't be a problem because these would prevent the water from flowing into the pump. I'm only using the middle hole for each one because these tomatoes, uh, these tiny tin tomatoes, they're called a dwarf tomato, but they actually get really big, as you can see here. So they're not, I would call these like maybe a semi-dwarf. I don't think they're actually like a true dwarf tomato and they they just grow and grow and grow like this this tomato here in front of me here is probably about three months old and it's just getting started the ones back here are probably closer to like nine months old or, or getting close to a year and these actually all grew from the same plant i uh, took a cutting from the the plant and then just rooted it and, and grew that and then just kept doing that over and over again so these all actually grew from the same same seed so they're doing really, really well. And yeah, you can see here just like tons of green tomatoes growing. So this kit also came with some really nice accessories. The first one I want to show you here, this, these are the net cups that, that it came with. Uh, these probably look, if you have arrow gardens, this probably looks familiar. Like here's an arrow garden for reference. They're like almost the exact same size. Like these are just maybe a tiny bit shorter and a little bit smaller. But, but you can actually take the arrow garden ones and they they will fit inside of the, uh, the lawn fold system here. So you can, if you want to, like start seeds in your arrow garden and then transplant them into here. Or you can just grow them uh, directly in the, this, this system itself. They also provide a tray, a nice, really nice seed starting tray. So you can start your seeds outside the system if you want to and then and grow them in this. Uh, it also comes with really nice pair of scissors. I've been using these, you know, I, it's kind of just an afterthought, honestly, but I've been using them for about a year now and they're still really sharp. Uh, yeah. So just a really nice pair of scissors, nice little bonus there. Okay. Let, let's talk about some of the, the downsides though. Um, these are really small, right? Like this, if you're used to, if you've seen other systems that have net cups, they're usually at least, you know, one inch, sometimes two inches or more. And so, it, it can be a little challenging to, to grow in something like this because the plant doesn't really have a lot of room and so that the stem can sometimes like take up the entire net cup. Um, let me show you actually the inside of these. If you look in here, you'll see that there's like a groove down in here. Like it's not, it's not just like a hole, but there's actually like space to hold the, the net cup. Um, and that, that does help stabilize the plant so that even though these net cups are really small, it is able to, to keep it from like wiggling too much. So you can see these plants are, are holding up pretty well. You can actually see here how much space that the plant's actually taking up in the, the net cup. So 
it does kind of limit what you can grow because you know once it gets too big it's going to eventually consume that entire net cup and you're probably going to have to take the plant out at that point but I think it's big enough that you should be able to grow like, you know, I'm growing these tomatoes. They've been in here for six months and they're, they're doing just fine. So another problem here is that it is kind of hard to water. Like what I'll usually do is just take out one of these and then just pour the water into here. You know, in theory, you should be able to take these tops off, but they, they do not come off very easily. And you can see that when you have a system or when you have a tomato plant this big um, and, you know, you can see I have, I have a trellis here with some jute twine just tied up to the top. Uh, it it's really not possible to take these off. It's kind of a problem with these types of toasts in general is, is it is kind of hard to water them sometimes, but you can, you know, just pour water into like one of these openings easily enough. And, uh, and then when, when I have to take water out, I'll use a, a siphon pump. Not the easiest solution, but also not, not like incredibly difficult or anything. Just, just something to keep in mind when you're using these types of systems the, with the water directly underneath the plant like this. It, it is a little challenging sometimes to, to fill the water. Um, and then you know, as far as like checking nutrients, once you have it dialed in, uh, at least for me, I don't really check the nutrient levels all that often. I, I know exactly how much to add. I know, you know, the pH of my tap water. And I, if I add just a tiny bit of pH down, that's usually enough to, to keep the pH in check. So I haven't had to do a whole lot of like monitoring of the system. If I did, this would be challenging. I guess like, you know, I could use the siphon pump to like pull water out and, and then just use that to, to check it. So overall, I would say that this system is really good if you want to grow something big, like a pepper or in this case, a tomato. If you're just looking to grow a couple of smaller things like some lettuce or some herbs, you're better off getting like an arrow garden or one of the, the similar systems. If you want to grow lots of lettuce and lots of herbs, I did recently do a review of my deep film technique system. So go ahead and check that out next if you're interested in something like that. If you're just getting started in hydroponics, I would recommend something more like this. This is an old container from the grocery store. So I'm just repurposing that. I wrapped it in tin foil to protect the, the roots from, uh, from light. And all that's in here is nutrient water. There's no air stone or anything like that. This is called the, the crack key method. It's really good for smaller systems. You can see here, I have a tomato in here and you can actually grow tomatoes this way. They're not gonna get as large as what you can grow with like a deep water culture system like I have behind me. But if you're looking to just, you know, dip your toe in the water and, and try it out, this is a good way to get started. Or in my case, when I have like transplants that I'm just growing and maybe eventually want to transfer into this bigger system that can be a, a good bridge system. If you're interested in getting one of these for yourself, I'll include a link in the description for these uh, Amazon DWC buckets, as well as the grow lights and everything else I use to build this system, including my uh, nutrients, the pH down solution that I use, my pH meter, and so on. Thank you for watching.